guys welcome back to another clean with me and look at this mess this is behind the couch today we are cleaning behind and under the couch this is a little bit embarrassing the kids throw things behind there you know and it's just dusty and nasty and I just thought it was a good time to clean it out so this is part of spring cleaning but we have some toys and just trash and it's just yuck it's just so yuck so today is just gonna be the clean with me behind the couch edition and hope you guys enjoy this video I had broke down and bought a new vacuum cleaner last week. The one I had was just a little Bissell vacuum cleaner. We've only got carpet in one bedroom and we're wanting to get that out of the way when we redo the bathroom and the bedroom and stuff, but um, it blows the dust right back out. And I'm, anymore, these, these days I'm highly allergic to dust. So I went to Walmart and got a um, shark. I can't remember the name of it, but it's made for like pets and allergens so it doesn't blow the dust back out and you know it does a really good job it's got a long extendable arm and it just cleans really good so I'm pleased with it and I can use it on the it's got a switch for you know just floor and then it's got a switch for carpet so it's got two different settings in the container that that catches everything is easy to clean and the filters are good so I'm really impressed with it and it does a really good job. After vacuuming all the dust and dirt up, I'm going to just spot clean with my Bona cleaner and mop thing. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is called, but it's good for spot cleaning. And since I'm just doing behind the couch, I'm just going to use that. It does it does clean really good, but like I said, it does sometimes, most of the time, it leaves a residue. So since it's under the couch, I'm not too worried about it, but it, it does clean really good. But like I said, I do not like a streaky floor. It just drives me nuts. So, 
So I'm just going to use this mop right quick behind the couch. Now I'm just going to tidy up the living room a little bit, fix Billy's chair. They always pull that cover down. It drives me nuts, but <laughs> it's better than looking at that bare spot on the couch. We are not going to, we have expensive furniture except for that love seat. We bought it maybe two years ago and it's already starting to peel up in certain places and it's just really gotten us mad. So we're not going to invest in any expensive furniture until the kids are grown, which this, it's fake leather, which is, we paid a good chunk for it and it's just not doing good, but until the kids are grown, we're just going to keep this or just find some cheap furniture like at Big, Big Lots or something in case, you know, we just don't want to spend the money on it. They're bad to spill things and crumbs and just dirty you know how kids are so we just decided next time if we're going to buy nice furniture the kids are going to have to be grown which Adam is 11 he doesn't make much of a mess but he there for a while was bad to get on the couch and sleep on the couch so he wore out a spot on our couch from sleeping on it so you know how it goes but anyway I'm going to vacuum up the rest of the dust and dirt you guys enjoyed this quick video of cleaning behind the couch spring cleaning um, be sure to comment subscribe for more motivational cleaning videos and I'll see you next time bye